hey guys welcome to webdev tutorials so in this video we're going to learn something different we're going to work on tabs with filters so each tab will be connected to a filter so for example nature will show you only nature pictures people only people cars only cars and buildings only buildings so it's up to totally up to you you can use whatever you like and yeah it's going to be responsive as well great so so what we'll need we'll need for sure we need bootstrap minified css we'll need jquery just minified and the bootstrap js as well minified and we need to connect our CSS style so we we'll start with section and we give a ID of portfolio then inside there we'll have a container diff with container then inside there we'll have another diff with the name of gallery and then call lg12 and mx mx auto then inside here we'll have a title so we give a class of gallery title and the name next we create just a simple diff and inside here we'll have a button with a class of btn and btn default another one will be filter button and just at the end here we add data filter this one will be all so we're going to name all different categories so in total we create five <coughs> so next one will be nature Another one will be people, cars, and buildings. And just here we're going to name them so all nature, people, cars, and buildings. Let's just save. So we have them later on we need to style them. Okay, so the next thing we're going to include is content of the images. So we go with a row and then inside here we'll have the images. So now the div with a class of gallery product. Then call MD4, another filter, center, and nature. And just include the image. Okay, so now let's just copy, copy like, let's do maybe 10 of them, and then we just name, so, so we put filters here, 
So this one, let's make people. Just rename your image. Next one, let's do again nature. So nature two. Let's do cars. Buildings. Just copy two more. Save. Okay, just one image missing. One okay, so we have no images, so now we have to style everything. Okay, let's go to our CSS. Just add some padding on the page, forty pixels. Just give a margin of zero auto, so just make sure it's in the middle. Next is the title. Let's give font size of 36 pixels. Change color. Next to line it center. Give a font weight of 700. Give a padding of 40 pixels, 20 pixels, 60. Ah, just a typo here mistyped. Okay. Okay, so next is these tabs. So the buttons, let's go with filter button. Change font size to 18 pixels. We give the border one pixel solid. I'm going to use the same color. Give a border radius of 5 pixels. Text align at center. Color will be same. And give a margin bottom of 30 pixels. Okay, next is the same one. So filter button, but on the hover state. size 18 Get the border one pixel I just change values here so it looks more Okay. 
dark. Huh? Next, the border radius. Color white and the background color. Let's see. Okay. Now let's go to BTN default. Active sudo and filter button active. Change background color to the same color. The color white. Margin button of thirty pixels. So far, they know working because we need to add uh, some uh, JavaScript. So let's go back to the index file, and just here we're going to create a script X, and inside here we're going to add some JavaScript. So let's start with a document, then ready, and then we give function, next we get filter. Filter class, filter button, click function, so then we give a variable here with a value this. And the data filter. Then we give an if statement if value equals to all. Then a dollar sign. Target filter, so filter show one thousand. Then else. Again, dollar sign. Filter not plus value give a height three thousand. Copy this and we add it. So this one will be filter. 
change this to show. Okay. Okay, and then just beneath here we give another if statement. Target filter button. Let's just add the remove class. So we're going to remove the class of active. Okay, I think we're done. Just refresh. Okay, they work. So everything is filtering. Great. Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful. Thank you and see you to the next project. Bye.